alimony and support. Determining spouse support and child support can be complicated with guidelines varying by jurisdiction. California, that is uh, the, the juris. It's pretty much the consistent through California. Uh, mistakes in calculating support payments or not understanding your rights and obligations can result in unfair financial consequences. So, with our clients, there we the level of fairness is what you and your spouse agree to. Uh, we don't represent you. Our clients don't have attorneys. They're self-represented. I can give them resources and information written by attorneys to. Um, um, understand their rights so they can make informed decisions. Um, you can always go to an attorney, have a consultation, have your rights explained to you so you can make informed decisions as well. But honestly, everything, if you know how to, if you know the right terms to search, everything is out there written by attorneys uh, on their websites. Um, but yeah, child support, we have access to running calculations for support, uh, both spouse support and child support. Um, you know, they, there are some free calculators out there. When you turn in a child support order as part of your settlement agreement, you do need, do need to include the child support calculation. We have the ones that the courts, there's several versions of it, maybe half dozen. We pay for a program that the court knowingly accepts this version of the child support calculation. If you have child support, you do need one. If you are, um, they want to see what the, the guideline amount is. So if the calculation is, you know, $500, but you want it to be 300, then you have to do a non-guideline order because it's a, it's a lower amount. You don't need a calculation if you're doing reserve jurisdiction. And then keep in mind, maybe you want to keep child support, uh, the child support order completely out of the settlement agreement. You guys are going to pay child support or receive child support, but you don't want the the government knowing this came up on a conversation day, you don't want the government knowing, or maybe you just don't want an official court order for one reason or another, because it's none of their business and you're going to handle it outside of court. In that, that case, we can write it up as reserved jurisdiction. We don't need a child support calculation. You guys have whatever out of a court agreement you want, and it gives you that flexibility uh, there. So spouse support, you do not need a child support or child support. Spouse support, you don't need a uh Child a spouse support calculation submitted. Uh, those numbers are not like child support where it has to meet some kind of state minimum or anything like that.